Hey y'all, happy Wednesday. So let's dig back in. Um, we were talking yesterday about the fact that this woman was rich and influential. And so if she is influential and knowing what we know about the account already, how many people do you think are going to hear about what miracle has happened in her household? I, I mean, I think that that's one reason that maybe it tells us that she was influential is that people were going to know, word was going to travel what the Lord had done for this woman. And so many things picking out. I should just leave the camera rolling and let us, and I'll just stop it at five minutes so that you can hear the interim discussion. Um, well, go ahead. I, I did have, um, it is kind of funny once the camera stops rolling because we still carry on with commentary. <laughs> yeah. Like, what well, did you think about this? Or just, so, um, just another thing that I'll say quickly in verse 13, Elisha says, you have most painstakingly and reverently concerned for us. Mm -hmm. um, and I think like when the Holy Spirit or the Lord speaks to you and tells you, I need you to go minister to this person, or I need you to take this family some food. I need you to put some money here. It's not a burden for you. Right. It's right. not. Right. It doesn't take anything from you. When the, when the Lord guides you and leads you to to be a, a ministering vessel to someone, you will feel no pain or no hurt because all the, the Holy Spirit's flowing through you. And so where Elisha is looking at her like, what does she want? Because she's clearly gone out of her way to help me. Yeah. In her mind, I'm seeing as she's saying, this was natural for me. This, this was a natural thing that most likely the Lord used her to minister to his prophet, that he needed a safe place to be. And so when Elijah says, what would be done for you? Do you want me to speak to a king? Do the, do the commander of the army? He's. I, my point was, he's obviously been taken advantage of before. Yeah. Because he's been to other places and people come to him and are doting to him or, or give to him luxury. She's, like you said, a wealthy woman. So he's like, well, what does she want? And yeah. she says, I dwell among my people. They are sufficient. That's the kind of confidence that we need in anywhere. I dwell here, I, this is sufficient for me. And because that same attitude for her is exactly why she was able to say in the midst of her son being dead at home, yeah. it is well. And I have to take this moment to tell you because it's all that I can hear in my spirit is that Natalie recognizes this in this woman because that's who she is. I like her. I like this woman. She's sassy and she's sufficient. <laughs> Natalie is such a giver of herself. That's Nobody true. ever has to tell her of a need because she has already seen it and she has already figured out a way to not only meet that need but to exceed that need. And for no benefit of herself and for nothing to add to her name, but just because that's a gift that the Lord has given her. And I look at her all the time and I say, my God, how could she do any more? Right. And she has no idea that she has done all that she's done. And so she sees this in this woman because that's her heart. <laughs> and as I'm hearing her talk about this woman give out of herself and this woman wanting to make it better for this prophet and this woman who just wants to be a blessing because she saw a need. I see my sister and I see how she puts her hands to work for other people to, to meet a need that they didn't know they had or that they had not even voiced but because she pays attention she sees it and the Holy Spirit uses her for that and so I'm going to pause in this moment thanks I'm glad I came for this <laughs> I know but I really, I really want to just pray blessing over you in that you continue to be a rich and influential woman and that the Lord opened the doors for you to use that and that I know that he has and that he gives you grace upon grace upon grace to make those steps and to continue in what he has blessed you to do and where he has put you and the people and the lives that you, you have just absolutely blessed. And at this point in the story, this woman's not a mother, <laughs> you know? This is just a, a, a woman 
who wants to use her resources for the glory and the benefit of God. And so I just pray that continually over you and that he make it ease and ease and ease.